Hi guys, welcome to today's video on VMware ESXi version 6. Today we're just going to run through a quick installation of ESXi 6 and what I'm going to be doing is installing ESXi into my existing vSphere environment which is running 5.5 at the moment. So to get started I've created a resource group here, vSphere 6. So I'm going to be creating a new virtual machine as custom. We'll put it in the vSphere 6 folder that I've created. I'm just going to call it ESXi 6-1. I'll select a storage. We'll start with version 8 here. So for guest operating system, we'll be selecting other and other 64-bit. And you'll see later we'll come back and change that. Select two virtual sockets, two cores. We'll give it 8 gig of memory. I'm going to be giving it two network cards. So one will be my internal network and the other one will be our storage network. Now I'm going to untick the storage network for now and click next. I'll accept the default here, create a new virtual disk, select thin provision, allocate 15 gig and accept the default here, click next. Here is a summary of our setup, so I'm going to click finish. So now my virtual machine has been deployed. I'm going to edit my virtual machine here. And I'm going to go to options and in the version here on the right hand side I'm going to drop it down and select ESXi 5.x. So we don't have that version when we deploy the virtual machine but after we have deployed it we can go back in as you've seen now and select ESXi 5. The other thing I'm going to do here is click on boot options and just select force BIOS setup on the next boot so we'll click OK. Now one more thing we'll do is we'll right click on the virtual machine here and we'll select upgrade virtual hardware. Select yes. So you can see now it's at VMX 10. We'll head on over to the web interface. So this is the web interface for my existing vSphere 5.5. And we'll click on hosts and clusters. And on my ESXi 6 virtual machine here, on uh, settings VM hardware, on the right hand side we'll click edit. And we'll expand CPU. And we'll tick the expose hardware assisted virtualization option here. So we'll click OK. So we can minimize our web interface. I'm going to open up a console for the ESXi 6 virtual machine and we'll click on start. Now we'll head over to boot section and we'll just make the CD-ROM first and just before we exit we're just going to mount the ISO file of the ESXi 6. So we'll press enter here to exit and save changes. The installation of ESXi 6 begins I'll press enter here. And here we begin the installation wizard, so we'll click enter. F11 to accept the license. If you've installed previous ESXi servers before, you should be pretty familiar with these screens. This is the local disk that we're going to be installing ESXi into. So that was a 15 gig that we allocated to the virtual machine previously. Select US default for the keyboard layout. Give it a root password. So all the settings have been completed now and Wizard's ready to install so I'll press F11. Okay, the ESXi 6 has been successfully installed so we'll press enter to reboot.
Okay, so VMware ESXi 6 is booted up. So let's go and look at the configuration. So we'll press F2 and we'll log in here. Okay, so pretty similar options to previous versions of ESXi here. We've got configure password where we can configure the ESXi root password. We've got configure lockdown mode which becomes available once we've joined the ESXi 6 to a vCenter server. We can configure our management network which is what we'll actually go in and do now. If I click on network adapters, you can see our two network adapters here. So the one that's connected is our management network, the one that's disconnected is our storage network. So the one that we want to configure is our management network, so that one's selected by the X on the left hand side. We'll press escape there. Optionally we can configure a VLAN, so that's VLAN tagging, so you would have to have a trunk port set up on your switch to support adding VLANs here. Otherwise, if you do not add a VLAN, it will just be on the native VLAN of your switch. So in that case, if it's out of the box switch, it'll be VLAN 1. IPv4 configuration. So I believe this is a new setting here, the disable IPv4 configuration for management network. We do have the option here to dynamically assign an IP address via DHCP or via static. So we're going to set a static IP address here. So for my network here, just going to change the last bit to 175 and my subnet mask and default gateway is all correct so I'll press enter IPv6 so you have the option to use a dynamic IPv6 address or configure a static one uh, or even disable it so I'm going to disable it on here disable IPv6 and press enter for the DNS configuration I'll select my primary DNS server which is 192.168.1.101 and for my host name I'm going to give it esxi 6-1.vmlab.local and my custom DNS suffix I'll also add vmlab.local here. I'll press escape. So because we've disabled IPv6 it's going to require a host reboot so I'll press yes here and I'll just pause the video until the VMs rebooted and then we'll come back. Okay, our host is rebooted now, so I'm going to log in again. And we've done our configuration of the management network. Another option here is to restart the management network, so it goes through and restarts the agents. You can test the management network, so testing is ping and DNS resolving. I'll press escape. You can restore your network. So we can restore the network settings back to factory default. So if you happen to get locked out of your ESXi server, you can use these options. Uh, you can restore the standard switch setting and you can also restore VDS. So we'll press escape. We can go back and reconfigure the keyboard if we need to. We've got some troubleshooting options here, so we can enable the ESXi shell. So one thing I haven't shown on my previous ESXi videos is how to actually get into the shell. So let's go ahead and enable it now. So it's now enabled. If we press Alt F1, this is the ESXi shell. So I can log in as root, enter my password, and here we are at the shell. So if I press Alt F2, I go back to the GUI again. So I'm just going to disable it again. And the next option we have is to enable SSH, so we can SSH into the ESXi host. This is a new setting where we can modify some timeouts. So availability timeout and also idle timeout. So it gives a good explanation there of what both those are. And here we also have a DCUI idle timeout. So the DCUI is the interface that we're logged into now and we can set an idle timeout on this and again we can restart the management agents so I'll press escape we can view the system logs here so we just need to have view system logs selected on the left hand side and then we just press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6 to have a look at the logs so for example if we want to have a look at the VM kernel log we'll press number 2 and there's the VM kernel log. We use the up and down arrows to scroll through the log. And once you finish, you press Q. 
go back to the GUI screen. Next option, some support information on the right hand side here. Serial numbers, licenses, etc. You can press page down to go to the next page. And lastly, we can reset the whole system configuration back to factory defaults. So I'm going to press escape. And now we're back at this screen. So I will minimize my console window and also my vSphere client in the background. And now we'll go into a web browser and I'll just open up a new tab here. So we're going to go to HTTPS 192.168.1.175 which is the IP address of the SXI server. We'll go through with the certificate. So on the web page of the ESXi server we can download the vSphere client. So this is the vSphere 6 client here. So if you click that and download it and get it installed we can then go through and connect with the client to our ESXi host. So I've already done that in the background just to save some time on this video and it's a very very basic installation so I don't believe you guys need me for that. Once you do get your vSphere client installed we'll open it up, type in the IP address of the ESXi server, our root username and password. We'll install the certificate and click ignore. And we've got a 60 day evaluation license out of the box which is good. So we'll click OK. And as you can see here we've got our host on the left hand side ESXi version 6 with the build number and if we click on summary we can see the information of the ESXi host here, CPU, memory, data store, network, CPU cores, processor, license, etc, etc. And if we go into configuration tab, we've got some further configuration here. Now the last thing I want to show you guys is just in licensed features. So there's a lot of new features here compared to previous versions of ESXi. Uh, the best way to have a look and read what's new from version 5 to version 6 is to go into this website and read the PDF on what's new in VMware vSphere 6.0 platform. So if you guys just want to grab this URL at the top here and download this PDF, you'll be able to have a look and see what all the new features are in VMware ESXi 6. So that concludes this video for today. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.